Welcome. The following technical support video will walk you through the processes of removing the validation from your computer for multi-rip film, film positive rip software program. You'll use the remove the validation when you are pulling the software off of one computer and wanting to put it to another. We highly recommend that you do not wait until the last minute right before your hard drive is about ready to fail because each 16 digit product code only comes with three activation codes. These three activation codes can be used up to three different times as long as you don't lose the actual activation. The ways you can lose your activation are by your hard drive crashing, some other software infecting a hidden validation folder that is on your C drive, or actually losing the entire computer. Once you've used up all three of your activation codes, additional activation codes can be purchased for an additional fee. This video will walk you through the steps of how we're going to remove the activation. To remove your validation from your multi-rip film software, you want to open up the multi-rip film interface window, click on the settings link, and go down to remove validation. You will get a couple warnings here that are going to make sure that you are positive that you want to remove the validation. Notice that this window will say the printouts will contain a watermark. Go ahead and click the yes button. You will get a second warning saying you're about ready to do the, remove the validation. You want to go ahead and click yes. Once you've done this, you'll notice that it will provide you with an invalidation code. You want to make sure that you write this invalidation code down. In case you don't write this invalidation code, the invalidation will also show up in a folder in under, on your C drive in the multi-rit film folder called invalidation.txt. Take the time to write down the invalidation code. Once you've written this code down, double check to make sure you have the correct code. Once you've done that, go ahead and click the OK button. Now if you notice and you click on the settings button, as long as the RIP window stays open, it'll still believe that it's removed the validation. Once the RIP has been closed, the validation will be gone. Do the final step of putting the validation back into your online account. You want to go back to the same website we used for validating our software. Go through the same process by selecting which language you would like to use. Go ahead and complete the form including your 16 digit product code. Make sure it's in all capitals. Once you've gone that, scroll down till you find the multi-rip film and you'll see where the second link says remove validation. Please make sure that you're choosing the correct product as there are three types of multi-rip and you want to remove the validation on your multi-rip film. Click on the remove validation. It'll bring up and it'll ask you for your 16 digit product code you want to make sure that when you put this in, if you're copying and pasting, you do not add any additional spaces. And then you want to make sure you put your removal code or your invalidation code in. Go ahead and click the submit button. Once you've done that, you'll notice that it'll add back in your validation code. If you have any additional questions on how to go through the removal process, please contact your authorized distributor. Thank you.